Hello, and welcome to a series of Brawl modding tutorials where we will go through the process of creating a brand new character from scratch from any idea that you may have. A extremely common question that I get and I have gotten over the years is, how do I make a character? There are some important things that you should think about when you're going into making a character before you start just trying to make one that will end up saving you a lot of time and making your life a lot easier. So we're going to do a series where we have two types of video. There are going to be theory videos where we talk about how we're making the character and what we need to meet the demands that our character brings with it. And then there are going to be workshop videos in which I show how to actually do those things. We're going to be using softwares or other programs to actually make the characters like Brawl Crate or other things. And we're going to be doing those in the workshop videos. But it's important because I'm not going to be able to create a character that is exactly what you want. Everybody's going to want to make a unique character. And so what is more important for these videos is for you to understand what you need to make your character so that while you're following along in the workshop videos, it can still apply to what you're doing, even though what I'll be doing is something different. A lot of what this video is going to be is taking a look at what character should you start from. Smash Brawl already has an impressive roster of characters that are quite unique and different. Is the character you're making similar to an existing character already? On top of this, there's an enormous amount of existing mods that are done extremely well. Is your character similar to one of those? We're going to be thinking about these things when we start making a character, because ultimately, no matter what you do, you are going to be starting from something to make your character. So we might as well start from something that's close. There are four elements of a character, in my opinion, that are going to be important for you to think about with the first two being the most important in terms of actual work, and the second two, as we'll get into, being more aesthetic, however still important. The first element is the design of the character. What kind of character are you going for? Is it a character that has a lot of projectiles? Is it a character that just fights with their fists? Do they have a sword? Do they use a lot of items? Maybe they can fly. They have multiple jumps. What kind of special or unique features do you want this character to have? What do I mean by that? Ice climbers. There's two of them. Is the character that you're going for a multi-character type of thing? What about Little Mac? He has a charge up meter that he can use a special attack once it's full, or other characters that have meter based attack. Is it is that something you want? Peach uses a lot of items. She can pull items and throw them. She has the float. She has um, the articles from her side smash, like the frying pan or the golf club. And she can bring out Toad, and you know, she's quite unique, but is that similar to what you want? Is your character two-dimensional or pseudo two-dimensional? Maybe you want to start from like a game and walk. These are going to be things that you want to think about. And of course, as I'll mention many times, does your character have a sword or something that they swing with what would be a disjointed hitbox? Well then, maybe you should just start from a character with a sword. The second most important part of what you want to think about with your character is what is their move set specifically? What is their kit? 
When we're thinking about the design, we want to think about overall, what kind of character is it? But for the movesets, we're talking about things like what is their side smash or up B? What is their down air? Do they have a down tilt? What would that be? And given the character, do they use like their sword to do that? Do they shoot things to do that? Or do they have magic? Now is when we need to think about what specific moves we want them to have. Maybe we could start from Captain Falcon. Maybe he has a lot of moves that are similar to what we're going for already. Does he have a big sword? And maybe a meter? Well, maybe you'd start from Cloud then. Maybe you want a character with a lot of articles or items and some crazy different moves and you start from a mod of like Pac-Man or something like that. These are things that you can do. Because when you're thinking about a character, in, again, in my opinion, on the right there, these are the moves that you're going to want to at least think, like, what, what is that going to be? You don't have to, like, have it all completely figured out, but, like, you know, let's say I'm thinking, oh, I want to make um, a Dig Dug character. Okay, well, like, what would Dig Dug's jab attack be? Well, it would probably just be, like, he hits them with his drill. Okay, sure. We can imagine that. And his dash attack, maybe he'd do, like, a running drill attack. Okay, sure. You know, you, know, you can just kind of go through it. And when you imagine all of those things, try to think about what character is already similar. A lot of times, special attacks can be used on the ground or in the air. And the special attacks may have more complicated mechanics with them. So if you think that the hardest part of your character is their special attacks, you could start from a character that has similar specials already, and then the rest of their moves are easier because they're more simple. The two of, or the first of the two lesser important things to think about is the sounds. Eventually, when you're making a full character, you're going to want to think about their sound effects and where you're going to get those or how you're going to make them, and their associated music, because they may have a victory theme and um, other sound involved with them. Where are you going to get that, and how are you going to use it? And then we have the visuals, which a lot of times people focus on the most at first, but ultimately the visuals are just a representation of what's happening with the move set and design of the character. But it is also important to think where you're going to get it, and a lot of times when you're thinking about creating a character that already exists from another franchise and bringing it into Smash, you can quite easily picture the visuals, and it's more of a question of how do you get it and how do you bring it into the game. Here, just for fun, let's say you want to make the character from Gunstar Heroes. That would be a sprite-based character. How would we go about doing that? If we were doing something like that, or Neku from The World Ends With You, another sprite-based character, we could, uh, we could say that a huge amount of the time to create this character would actually be in the visuals, so we would probably want to start from a character like Game & Watch or some other flat character so that we can get most of the hard work out of the way at the beginning. Maybe our character is something like Parappa the Rappa or Paper Mario, where they are technically 3D and bendy, but it's kind of like a sheet of paper. Maybe we would again want to start from Game & Watch for those kinds of characters. Is it a fully 3D character, like everybody's favorite, Glover, the best 3D character, of course? Or are you going to be getting it from an existing Wii game? Is there a game on the Wii where you're just thinking, hey, I'll take the model from this and put it in Brawl? If it is, then this part of it's going to be quite easy for you, but at the very least you'll have to think about that, or if that's where you want to get it. Maybe you're wanting to bring in a game from outside of the Wii's library, 
or a more modern model because on Dolphin you can have higher polygon character. Well, how are you going to get that model and how are you going to bring it in? These are things you're going to have to answer and we'll go through during these series of tutorials. However, ultimately, those are things that do not actually affect how you create the character, as we'll see. So you can figure out how you're going to do the sounds and visuals as we go. But the most important part of creating your character is actually setting up their moves and seeing them work in the game. Here, you see, who's that character? Well, once you know what the design and the move set is that you're going for, combined with the visuals and sound, you think about what something similar to what you want to go for, and you realize it's Waluigi, of course. So maybe you could start from there. He's already a similar character to what you want, and you can just make that. This is going to save you a huge amount of time. We will learn how to change things and adjust them, but you don't need to reinvent the wheel every single time. Take advantage of the work that has been done before. We are modding. That's the whole point. So what you need to understand is what is already available to you so you can take advantage of it. There are a ton 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 of characters created for brawl check out the brawl vault take a look around and even the the standard roster of the game is quite impressive to begin with but explore and see what is already out there so you can see what types of things you want to learn how to do you need to get inspired by seeing what has already been done so that we can learn how to do it and there's a ton of stuff, so check out the Brawl Vault. In the description, I'll have links to a handful of my tutorials from the past. This being a theory video, we're just talking about things that you want to consider and think about. But in upcoming workshop videos, we'll actually start doing things and creating a character from scratch. If you want to get a head start and start understanding things, I highly recommend my old videos here. Uh, the tutorial I have for creating entirely new moves shows how to transfer an animation from one character to another and adjust that move to have Mario uh, draw a bomb on as a special attack. You should also check out the assist trophy move sets to see all of what is available to you in Brawl. It's not just the standard roster. A lot of the assist trophies have pretty cool moves, and some of them have pretty complicated uh, combinations of moves that you can try to copy over to a character, or make an assist trophy a full character if you want. You can also check out the tutorial for model swapping. This one's great if you want to just transfer something around that's already in Brawl. It's super easy, but it's the same process once you get something that is able to be transferred in, if it was a model from somewhere else. So that one would be important. Then you're going to want to probably check out the non-stretching animation swapping tutorial. This one's going to show how to correct the proportions of the bone scaling for certain animations when you copy them from one source to another. So, for instance, if you gave Mario a falcon punch, he would stretch and look the same proportions as Captain Falcon which obviously would be strange for Mario. If you're doing that or other similar things, copying an animation from one character to another, you're going to want to make sure that you have uh, this video because it'll show you how to fix that stretching and scaling of bones so your character does those moves, but they stay the scale that they should be. Between these videos, uh, you should have a lot to go off of, and I encourage you to check out other videos uh, that I made in the past, because they're still pretty relevant, and uh, again, because so many things have been made, you can just copy from something to start with. That's going to be it for this video. Um, I hope people post down below ideas for their characters or things that they've always wanted in a character for Smash. 
I haven't decided what kind of character I want to create yet uh, to go through with this series, but um, I do have a couple ideas. Love to hear what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out the workshop video, which is to come, where we start getting into it. But if you follow some of those old videos, you can start practicing and understanding the concepts behind it, and we'll get into making a new character in the future. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.